A tense hearing on Capitol Hill Tuesday with former special counsel Robert Hur in the hot seat answering questions about his investigation into President Biden's handling of classified documents. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington, D.C. And Bree, special counsel Robert Hur was hammered by both Republicans and Democrats. That's right. Good morning, Maureen. So there were some tense moments there. Some Democrats accused the special counsel of having a political motivation. But Robert Hurd defended his decision not to charge President Biden while characterizing him as an elderly man with a poor memory. Special counsel Robert Hur under fire for his report regarding President Biden's handling of classified documents that included accusations about the president's mental fitness. Mr. Hur, you, you, you cannot tell me you're so naive as to, to think your words would not have created a political firestorm. Hur defended his assessment. I could not make that determination without assessing the president's state of mind. For that reason, I had to consider the president's memory and overall mental state. Republicans raised concerns of their own. So Joe Biden knew the rules. You know he knew the rules. And Joe Biden told us he knew the rules. So, Mr. Hur, why did he break them? Congressman, the conclusion uh, as to exactly why uh, the president did what he did is not one that we explicitly address in the report. Hur disputed claims that his report was a complete exoneration, even though he did not pursue charges. The White House maintains President Biden is innocent. The conclusion was simple, that there is no case here. The case is closed. It's time to move on. The focus is on the 2024 election. Both President Biden and former President Trump secured enough delegates Tuesday to clinch their party's nomination. The president saying voters have to make a choice about the future of America. Trump taking to social media. So we're not going to take time to celebrate. We'll celebrate in eight months when the election is over, November 5th. Trump is expected to attend a hearing in his own classified documents case in Florida Thursday. And the White House is doubling down on its pledge to form a task force to ensure classified information is handled properly moving forward. Maureen. Bree, now that election season is officially underway, where do the two candidates go next? So President Biden will continue his campaign push and go to the swing state of Wisconsin for a couple of campaign events today. While former President Trump does not have any events scheduled, but he is preparing for tomorrow's hearing. All right. Bree Jackson, live for us. Thank you so much.